Okay, video three with Walker Bats. Right, we were on question two. Question two, and uh, I worked out question two A. Now, let's look at number 2B. The sides of a rectangle are 4x plus 3 and x minus 5. Give an expression for the area, give an expression for the area of the rectangle written in the form of a x squared plus b x plus c i don't think they are asking for the values of a b c but simply they are looking for a quadratic and uh, if you want a clear picture it's a good idea to draw the quadrilateral or rectangle it's 4x plus 3 x minus 5 All right well, um, possibly some of the students might think why did I choose uh, the length as 4x plus 3 well I used uh, common sense most likely that's going to be longer than x minus 5 so you got to use your judgment and they are looking for area remember area not the perimeter so you've got to read the question and for the area you have to multiply base times height base times height right and then once you have multiplied to get uh, x squared plus bx plus c kind of expression you got to expand it well on saturday i was going through this sort of problem with one of the students and he was struggling with this expanding so i suggested a pretty basic sort of multiplication table that will give you 4x squared that will give you positive 3x because i multiplied this too and that will give me negative 20x and finally if i multiply those two that will give you negative 15 okay so these are the like terms and if i add them together that will give you negative 17 x so let me put it over there finally i have something like this 4x squared minus 17 x minus 15 my x is a little crooked okay so for x squared minus 17 x minus 15 now oh i managed to write in that format so a equals if the question asked you what are the values of a b and c uh, not for this one but if they asked this question a would be equal to 4 b would be equal to negative 70 people find it hard to understand why because that is positive b and the value of this is negative 17 and c is negative 15 sorry negative 15 okay please excuse my handwriting 
It's not very good. Okay. B to C. To C. Let me use black pen to make it a little bit colorful. Right. 5x. Now, possibly you people must have got some idea about the pattern of questions now. You easily have something like this and basically to express this as a single fra fraction what you need to do is add the fractions or simplify it uh, shall I go for equivalent fraction or shall I go for rote learning okay multiply the bottom expressions which are called denominators and then what I do what I do I cross multiply them basically uh, you are dealing with uh, what you call uh, equivalent fraction in a kind of memorized way uh, some of the people don't like it. So three lots of see three lots of x minus four. I hope everyone is with me. And then you got to expand those five x squared plus five x. Sorry, yeah, five x minus. Ah, this could be tricky. So uh, you got to always sing the song. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 4. Positive 12. Sing the song of algebra. Okay. And then if I expand the bottom denominator. Oh, that's the right word. Uh, that will give me x squared. Uh, minus 3x minus 4. So many things to remember. Okay, so I hope I am getting it right. If I missed something, please let me know. Oh, I got to still simplify the top one. Oh, let me make black color. Okay, 5x squared plus 2x plus 12 x squared minus 3x minus 4 now I have to ask question can I further simplify this so what I have to look for is there any common factor over here there is none so I cannot further simplify it basically this is what you need to remember investigate finally at the end at the end please investigate carefully uh, still the expression could be simplified so i'll stop there and next time i'll come back with question number 2d thank you